Hola amigos y amigas, bienvenidos a RBC Internacional. Les uh, saluda Mara Carranza de Amlovisión. Hoy les voy a traducir a uh, un video, uh, bueno, sobre varios videos que tienen que ver con Evo Morales y uh, por qué los Estados Unidos estaban de contra de él. Hello, uh, my friends. Uh, welcome to RBC International. My name is Mara Carranza. I have a channel called Amlovision and English Amlovision. And uh, today I'm translating a couple of videos that I thought may shed some light as to why um, uh, the president uh, or why the United States uh, was interested in having Evo Morales uh, out of power. And uh, I'm, I'm working with uh, uh, RBC International that's in uh, Peru. They're uh, based out of Peru. Uh, at the request of its um, uh, the people that were uh, administering it, and then also uh, the founder, uh, Ricardo Belman Casinelli. But in any case, let me go on and show you a little bit about what I've been able to discover. Now, this um, video um, says it very clearly. Uh, uh, listen to this. President Trump today praised the Bolivian people and that nation's military for forcing the resignation yesterday of Bolivia's longtime president, Evo Morales. Mexico today that now announced that it would offer Morales asylum. But in the Andean nation, a power vacuum prevails. With more okay, so this, um, I hadn't seen this before, I thought, I didn't know he had openly said that um, he praised, you know, the people for for uh, pushing Morales out of office. But um, I knew that that the U.S. had a hand in it because I had seen uh, several um, things, you know, like behind back doors there was something written from that was um, brought out by WikiLeaks that showed that um, even on the October 8th, they had already uh, said that it was um, what they were uh, planning and who naming who's who um, as to um, uh, that he was going to win and that they, they were going to say it was a uh, that it was some kind of a fraud and that they, they would then eventually force him to resign. And, and I mean, it was all laid out on October 8th. So it was no news to uh, anybody who had seen that. And in fact, I have a video on that if you want to look at that. Or I'm not sure if it's in English, but I, <laughs> I probably have to translate it to English anyway. Um, but I did do that one on my channel Amlovision regarding um, that whole situation with the WikiLeaks um, uh, uh, behind back doors uh, video uh, that they had on some of this. Well, it, it got taken off the air. Um, the WikiLeaks uh, leaks <laughs> got taken off the air. But um, then I found also today when I was trying to find out what happened in Bolivia, because I heard there was some good news in Bolivia that the United Nations had stepped in and uh, um, I guess they're going to make it uh, where it's going to be, um, they're going to, I guess, have a new re-election. And, uh, and somehow that brought peace uh, to, the, to the country. So I wanted to look into that. So I started to look into the United Nations and I found this video, uh, which was actually from a time before that. It was, um, uh, September 26, 2018, um, and I had thought it was the one from today, but uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, show you that one. That was quite interesting. Okay, and again, uh, President Trump, I guess, was presiding or something there, but anyway, he, there he is, so let's go ahead and start it, and I'll translate. President of Bolivia. President of the United States. 
el hermano Antonio Gutiérrez, secretario general de las Naciones Unidas. And the brother Gutiérrez of the United Nations. Hermanos presidentes, hermanos y hermanos del, del Consejo de Seguridad. So presidents, um, brothers and uh, counselors of the uh, uh, Security Council. La presidencia del Consejo de Seguridad ha convocado a sus miembros a debatir. So today they've been uh, asked to meet together to debate acerca de la no proliferación de armas de regarding no proliferation of arms of uh, mass destruction. Bolivia es parte de esa región declarada. And Bolivia is part of that region that is declared libre de armas nucleares that is free of nuclear arms desde hace más de medio siglo of more than half a century. Por ello, debo recordar, For this reason, I must recall el artículo uno, uno, Article number one del sobre de armas on the treaty uh, regarding the provision of arms yes. of uh, worldwide. Cada estado parte. Every part state or state part se compromete a nunca y bajo ninguna circunstancia that it uh, commits itself that never under any circumstances desarrollar, ensayar, will develop or um, test, producir, produce, y fabricate, y activate, de cualquier otro modo, or of, in any way, poseer o almacenar a possess or uh, to uh, store uh, nuclear arms or any other uh, type of nuclear um, uh, arms uh, and I think there's like igniters a todos. and I ask all of you all these people of the states from, that are around this table to subscribe to ratify and put in immediate effect these dispositions. This is the best way to prevent the catastrophic possibility for the use of this type of arms. It is ethical an ethical imperative and a debt to the future generations. My brothers and sisters of the world, Los Estados miembros del Sistema de Naciones Unidas. And the people, uh, the states that are members of the United Nations. Estamos obligados a cumplir con los... We are obligated to comply postulados esenciales de la... with what is postulated and essential Carta de 1945. in the letter of 1945. Sobre todo, and above all, el de resolver Las controversias internacionales it's to dissolve the international controversies mediante el uso de mecanismos de solución pacífica using the uh, uh, peaceful um, route of um, solutions en ninguno de estos cabe el uso de armas and in none of these does it fit to use arms De ningún tipo. of any type Al contrario, es la negociación. on the contrary it's the negotiation la diplomacia. diplomacy El diálogo. dialogue El arreglo judicial. and to uh, uh, use uh, legal uh, uh, corrections los que deben orientar la actuación de los, de los países and they must orient the activity of the countries. Está de que de estos medios, 
and we are convinced that only by the use of these measures will we will we be able to uh, have societies that are more just and with shared responsibilities. Que ser we have to be capable y dejar en el el and to leave in the past the primitive use de las armas entre los of arms between the people and uh, townships. Debo destacar, como ejemplo, and I should put out as an example la de la Corte de the contribution of the International Court of Justice that is the principal jur jurisdictional uh, organization de for the system of the United Nations for the effective resolution of disputes between states en diversas latitudes, and diverse latitudes y por diferentes situaciones. and for different situations. Hermanas y hermanos, My brothers and sisters, estamos convencidos de que es imprescindible de we are convinced that it is unprecedented partir no solo sobre los efectos not to only uh, talk about the effects sino sobre todo de las causas. but to speak of overall regarding the causes Estructurales. structurally de los conflictos bélicos. of these conflicts sobre las verdaderas motivaciones. regarding what are the true uh, motives de los de la paz. for the breaking of peace la seguridad and security y la and justice internationally. Como ejemplo, Irán. So let's take as an example Iran. And uh, we made a reference to them, or I would like to make a reference to them this morning. En 1953, In 1953, Estados Unidos United States financed, Organizó y organized, and, un golpe de uh, and executed a coup en de un de against a government that was democratically elected en de su and who had, in the exercise of its sovereignty, su nationalized its petroleum de mano de una empresa anglo-estadounidense that had belonged to a United States Anglo-American company. Después, por varias décadas, and then after that, for several decades, apoyaron un gobierno autoritario they um, authorized a, or uh, supported a uh, government that was authoritarian that permitted that the earnings of petroleum were benefiting uh, companies that were transnational or international. And that situation was endured till the revolution of 1979. Ahora, now, Irán ha el de sus now that Iran has retaken or resumed the control of its resources, es de now they are again victim to the United States. Bolivia um, <sighs> disapproves categorically. Las acciones unilaterales impuestas the unilateral uh, actions imposed por el gobierno de Estados Unidos en contra de Irán from uh, that are uh, actions that are done fr from the United States against Iran asimismo condena el hecho de que Estados Unidos se and also it uh, condemns 
that the United States be haya retirado del plan de acción integral conjunto that had retired itself or separated itself from the uh, plan that they had done in union utilizando excusas and they utilized excuses para continuar con su política de injerencia so that they could continue with their politics of uh, involvement hay intervención and intervention en los asuntos internos de in the uh, internal matters país. of this brother country Hermanas y hermanos, my sisters and brothers el Consejo de Seguridad. from the uh, Security Council Nos referimos a la región de Oriente Medio. and we defer now to the uh, Middle uh, East or Orient Rica en recursos naturales that it is rich in natural resources Pero proporcionalmente afectada por invasiones. but it has proportionally been uh, affected by invasions Guerras, en situación de agresión. wars and situations of aggression Injustificada. that is unjustified que siguen produciendo dolor y luto en su that they continue to uh, cause pain and uh, um, mourning in, in its uh, townships. Del mundo. This region of the world ha sido de los tres más has, been has been the scene of the three greatest aggressions that have been committed during the century, the 19th century. And, uh, I'm sorry, he said uh, century 21. The first aggression is the illegal invasion of Iraq based on a lie that this country uh, possessed um, arms of uh, mass destruction. Esa invasión produjo más de un millón de muertos. That invasion produced more than one million dead. La segunda agresión. The second aggression. Es el derrocamiento del gobierno de Libia. That it was the derailment of the government of Libya. Con decenas de miles de muertos. With thousands and thousands of dead. For the excuse of humanitarian reasons. Como and as a consequence, una grave they have now a grave uh, uh, political instability y una and a, a humanitarian crisis in the north of Africa. The, north of Africa. La the third aggression is the civil war is the civil war in Syria, in Syria que en los años that within the last eight years ha más de medio de has uh, caused more than a half a million deaths. Esa es de la that war is the uh, direct result of the uh, inherencia. Now let me uh, look up that word, inherencia. I'm not quite sure, but I know it has to do with involvement, I think. Well, for now, we're going to say involvement, because I think it's the word that closely resembles it. And the financing of armed groups and terrorist organizations that have confronted the Syrian government. My brothers and sisters, en los últimos meses, in the past few months, ha the United States has demonstrated once again su al their disdain towards the international uh, uh, rights, El the multi multilateralism, in the principal uh, uh, rights of the letter of the United Nations. 
every time that the United States invades countries, they send missiles or they finance a change in regimen. They do it accompanied by a campaign, propaganda, propaganda and their propaganda says that it's in the name of justice. La libertad, la democracia. The liberty or the justice Los humanos, or human rights o por or because of humanitarian reasons. Decirles, I, and I want to tell you that the United States is not interested in democracy. Si así fuera, if it were so, no they would not have financed coups and supported dictators. No they would not threaten to, uh, to uh, they would not threaten to destroy uh, uh, governments that had democratically been elected. Como lo hace contra Venezuela like they did against Venezuela. No le los derechos humanos, ni they are not interested in human rights, ni la nor in justice. Si así fuera, if it were so, los de they would uh, sign the international conventions de los derechos humanos. for protection of human rights. O las amenazas a las or the threats against the mechanisms of the International uh, Court of Investigations. They would not promote the use of torture. They would not abandon the Council of Human Rights and they would not separate uh, migrant children from their families and they would not put them in cages the United States is not interested in multilateralism if it were so they would not have alienated themselves from the agreement of Paris or of the global pact of immigration. They would not be sending unilateral attacks nor decisions that would declare and they would not say that uh, Jerusalem was the capital of Israel. That um, uh, they didn't um, disprez you. That's when you don't accept something. Um, unilateralism is motivated by its uh, wanting. The geopolitical uh, control and to appropriate natural resources. Hermanas, hermanos, My sisters and brothers, por de estas and above all these situations, a los we salutate the countries Francia, Alemania, Reino, France, uh, uh, Great. Unido, China, Rusia. China, Russia, and the grand, uh, there's grand nations that maintain their, uh, they maintain firm in the defense of the agreement that was signed with Iran. Those that did not uh, alienate the agreement of Paris the countries that defend the principles de soberana, of equality and sovereignty de los estados, of the states de no en internos, and not to become involved in uh, matters that are internal de al and respect international 
rights and the respect for assumed commitments and the defense of multilateralism. The responsibility of our generation is to turn over a world that's more just and more secure to the following generations. Eso solamente se conseguirá si es. And that will only be achieved if juntos, if we work together para consolidar to consolidate un mundo multipolar, a world that is multipolar con reglas comunes, with uh, communal rules para respetar el, to respect todas sus and defend all its threats to the United Nations. Thank you. Okay, so this is um, what I believe was the reason why um, Evo was attacked um, and it was promoted by the United States from everything that we've seen in the documentation. And I believe this was why. So I don't know you guys, if anybody uh, understands Spanish, Look it up. Um, it's a very interesting uh, topic, I think. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please um, like and subscribe and hit the uh, little bell so that you'll be reminded whenever we get a new video out. Um, like, uh, you can join uh, RBC International and uh, Amrovision and English Amrovision. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.